It is incredibly stunning every time we look at Hong Kong from the sky. Apart from towering skyscrapers and hilly countryside, we can also see the blue ocean. Hong Kong has 263 islands, with a lengthy coastline of about 1,180 kilometers. The diverse marine habitats are supporting very rich biodiversity. Mangroves, sandy and muddy shores, and gravel beaches provide shelter and food for all kinds of coastal creatures. While the coastal coral communities are habitats for many underwater life, Hong Kong's marine waters only cover about 0.03% of China's total ocean area. But research revealed that as many as 6,000 marine species have been recorded here, accounting for more than a quarter of the marine species in China. Such high marine biodiversity is not only due to Hong Kong's unique geographical location, ocean currents, and suitable climate that gather both tropical and temperate species here, but is also a result of the conservation efforts made by the general public conservation scholars, and the government over the years. Let us follow their footsteps and dive into the blue. Hong Kong is situated at the northern tip of the Coral Triangle, the world's marine biodiversity hotspot. Hong Kong's unique geographical location and marine environment have nurtured a rich variety of coral species, which is even more than the species found in the Caribbean Sea. Dr. Apu Cho, research assistant professor at the School of Life Sciences of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, has been dedicating her research to Hong Kong's coral communities. Sibin Although Hong Kong's corals cannot grow into coral reefs, the diversity of hard corals in Hong Kong is still fascinating. There are 84 species that are verified with specimen records, including brain coral, cactus coral, daisy coral, bow coral, and staghorn coral. 我們珊瑚本身不是一些很合適珊瑚生長的環境 in view of these facts, Apple set up the Coral Academy in 2018, hoping to combine scientific research and education to encourage the public to value and take part in coral conservation. In recent years, Apple's team and the AFCD have co-organized the Coral Nursery Education Program to train secondary school students to help restore some of the degraded coral communities in Hong Kong. 
The team will assist participating schools in setting up coral nursery tanks and provide technical training for teachers and students at schools. When the water quality of the nursery tank is deemed appropriate, the participating schools will begin nurturing the corals for about eight months. The students will be responsible for taking good care of the corals, regularly monitoring the water quality and measuring the growth of the corals. At the end of the program, the recovered corals will be transplanted back to the Tolo Channel and continue to thrive in Mother Nature. Feedback Reduce, 海洋生態之後將它轉化為一個行動積極地向踏出一步去做多些事是實質的去保護香港的生物。Coral communities are just like tropical rainforests in the ocean and are homes to many different marine life. The AFCD has worked with the Reef Check Foundation since 2000 to coordinate the Hong Kong Reef Check every year. In addition to recording coral coverage, the biodiversity and overall health of the ecosystem will also be assessed. Kiev founded the Hong Kong Reef Check Foundation in 1997 with a group of enthusiasts and has since been serving as the director of the foundation. He is no doubt the spearhead of Hong Kong Reef Check. 珊瑚礁普查主要是一個全球性的珊瑚礁監測系統 the success of Reef Chair is largely attributed to the support of team scientists. Frico, who is studying coral ecology, at the Swire Institute of Marine Science at the University of Hong Kong is an experienced reef check expert. Among the 20 categories of indicator species, Today, the Reef Check team recorded butterfly fishes, sweet leaves, groupers, rasses, mori eel, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. On the other hand, detailed assessment of the seabed substrate indicated 
the coral cover here at Sharp Island is over 70%. At a glance, the seabed is virtually covered by the common cactus coral. Really spectacular. In general, species richness in a reef is closely related to coral coverage. In places with higher coral coverage, more different species of marine life could often be found. These species have their unique survival skills, and some fishes are masters of disguise. Look at this weedy stingfish, with its plain appearance and canis tentacles over its body. It lies motionless on the seabed and is perfectly camouflaged. Some will live in tiny crevices to avoid predators. The stellar rockhopper always stays alert. It will stand guard at the entrance from time to time and will not leave its home easily. The popular crownfish lives with the sea anemone that possesses stem cells, benefiting each other in this symbiotic relationship. If you look closer, you could also find the transparent anemone stream hovering on the tentacles of the sea anemone. The body of this nudibranch is soft and brightly colored but its thorny back is actually full of digestive glands and sting cells to intimidate potential predators. Sanwujiu其實就是一個,如果你同陸地的生態環境去比較,就好像一個熱帶森林咁。係啊,咁佢裏面孕育咗好多唔同種類生物,包括毛仔追動物啦,魚類啦,誒,咁特別係呢,
In 2012, the government kick-started the Tenkok Coastal Conservation Plan to promote and raise public awareness on the natural environment of Tenkok and Pafa Cove, as well as to enhance conservation works at Tenkok East and the Tenkok sites of special scientific interest. Among them, the Tenkok Plus Ambassador Program of the AFCD has trained a number of local university students to become conservation ambassadors through a series of training and field visits. I am Garland Kelvin. I am a Hong Kong University of Science student. 經過今日嘅培訓之後咧，其實我發現原來誒丁國呢個海岸嘅生物多樣性咧，的而且確係好高嘅。我都認識到好多唔同動物同埋植物背後嘅故事啦。譬如原來我哋平時喺海岸上面發現嗰啲蟹仔，其實原來佢哋係好多唔同嘅種類，而佢哋背後咧亦都有佢哋嘅習性。即係譬如今日學到有個眼拜佛蟹，原來佢哋擺手嘅動作咧係為咗生熱同埋求偶啦。亦都學到唔同誒分辨真紅樹同埋綠紅樹嘅一啲技巧咯。After completing the training. Ten Corp Plus ambassadors will carry out their duties at coastal sites like Ten Corp and Starfish Bay. They are responsible for surveying coastal species, recording different types of human activities, and promoting nature conservation to the visitors. 如果講困難嘅話，最主要就係天氣原因啦。始終係烈日當空底下執行呢個大使嘅職責，其實我覺得係並唔容易啦。但係都有一啲感動嘅位嘅，譬如話係誒，我哋會接觸到一啲唔同嘅家庭啦，佢哋通常會帶埋誒佢哋嘅小朋友咁樣嚟到誒呢個丁國灘嚟誒，可能係掘顯啊，或者去做其他活動啦。譬如話佢哋試圖想帶走一啲好小嘅、好細型嘅蟹啊，或者顯啊，我哋都有提醒翻佢咁做，而佢哋喺。聽到我哋咁樣誒去勸喻佢哋之後咧，佢哋都有改善佢哋嘅行為嘅。每一隻海洋生物都有佢哋誒喺呢個生態鏈入邊嘅一個角色啦。如果冒冒然帶走佢哋，尤其是當佢哋未去到一個誒成長期嘅時候，就拎走佢哋，其實係誒減少咗佢哋一個繁殖嘅機會，對於成個生態嘅環境咧，其實係一個唔好處嘅。都希望大眾能夠即係唔好因為一時嘅私利或者係貪開心而帶走呢啲咁重要嘅角色咯。好多小朋友啦，其實佢哋係八字一張嚟嘅。對於誒保育誒大自然保育我哋嘅香港環境，其實佢哋係冇呢一方面嘅知識。雖然誒喺呢個歲數教到佢哋嘅知識其實並唔係太多，但係都希望透過呢個活動能夠誒為佢哋種下一個誒懂得愛惜大自然、保護我哋誒香港生態嘅一個小種子，令到佢哋第時都會懂得愛惜環境。To conserve our rich marine biodiversity, the government has designated marine parks and marine reserves to achieve conservation, education, scientific research, and recreational purposes. There are currently seven marine parks and one marine reserve in Hong Kong. Each protected area has its own unique marine environment and ecology. And at the same time, they remind us of how rich our marine natural resources are. Chinese white dolphins mainly appear in the western waters of Hong Kong. The marine environment in this area is largely affected by the freshwater influx from the Pearl River. The seawater here contains higher loadings of organic matter and sediments which supports rich fishery resources, attracting Chinese white dolphins to live here. At the Southwest Lantau Marine Park, Sha Chow and Long Ku Chow Marine Park, as well as the Brothers Marine Park, the government has also limited the speed of marine vessels and anchoring locations, and has regulated fishing activities to protect marine life. This adult Chinese white dolphin is guiding her calf, exploring their home waters. The establishment of marine parks is not solely for species conservation. Indeed, these are also good places to connect the public with the ocean. Hoi Ha Wan Marine Park was established in 1996 and is the first of its kind in Hong Kong. Hoi Ha Wan is a shelter bay at the northern tip of Sai Kung West Country Park with an area of about 260 hectares. 
up to three quarters of the local hard coral species, and more than 120 coral fish species have been recorded here. While observing the marine park visitor cooks, not interfering with marine life, taking good care of the marine environment, and taking away our own trash, visitors can engage in water activities such as snorkeling, diving, swimming, canoeing, and other water activities to explore the marine ecology. The Hoi Ha Visitor Center officially opened in June 2021. Managed by the AFCD, the center provides visitors with information about the adjacent scenic spots at Hoi Ha, as well as highlights of the ecological studies conducted by the AFCD at different marine protected areas. Visitors could have more understanding on the functions and management of marine parks so as to gain more awareness on marine conservation. Diving into the brew, it is not hard to notice Hong Kong's rich marine biodiversity is just right next to us. We are pleased to witness this joint efforts of conservation scholars, government departments, as well as the general public in conserving our ocean. In addition to being an open space for resting and enjoyment, the ocean is also home to marine creatures for millions of years. Horseshoe crabs are living fossils of the ocean. They have been living on Earth for hundreds of billions of years. And this mudflat has been used as a breeding and nurturing ground for generations. We may have the perception that Hong Kong is simply a concrete jungle. But you see, this young horseshoe crab is actually so close to our city. It is always easy to encounter marine life in Hong Kong. But do remember to take good care of them while appreciating them.